This is the model of the human vocal tract with a flexible tongue. With this model, there are teeth here, and you can see the tongue tip here. All of the bottom wall, including the tongue, is made of a soft, flexible material. There is a hole at the glottis end, and the sound source is fed into this hole. This is a whistle-type artificial larynx. First, I will produce sound with this artificial larynx by itself. Then, I will attach the artificial larynx to the vocal tract model. When I produce sounds, you will hear the neutral vowel or the schwa first. Then, I will make several different vocal tract configurations. If I push the lower part back, the pharyngeal cavity becomes narrow. In addition, when I pull the tongue further down to make the jaw widely open, you will hear the vowel ah. Next, you will hear sounds produced at the front part of the vocal tract. First, the pharyngeal cavity is no longer narrow. Instead, we can make a narrow passage at the front part of the vocal tract by pushing the tongue against the palate because there is a groove along the midline on the top surface of the tongue. By doing this, we can produce the vowel E. If I pull down the tongue a little bit from the position for the vowel E, you will hear the vowel E. I will push up and pull down the tongue several times. Finally, I will produce the vowel U. Let me produce the vowel U by making a narrow part in the middle of the vocal tract bent at the right angle. <laughs> Thus, we can produce several types of vowels by changing the tone configuration in various ways. Oh, <laughs> I